Visiting the Great Recovery stand at Resource really sparked off the collaboration. I met the designers that were involved in the project and, and got talking. They wanted some fabric for, for this survivor sofa, which I hadn't actually seen before until then. Conversation and dialogue started there, that they were beautifully working on a fabric that was addressing waste wool. And we came along at the same time, so it seemed like perfect synergy to work together. One of the things we had on, on show was our survivor sofa. So this was a sofa that we rescued from the landfill skip. The reason it was on the skip was that it didn't have a fire label and therefore it couldn't be reused by the local reuse organisation. It couldn't be sold on, so it had to go into the landfill skip. So our design team took it off the skip, took it apart, investigated those materials, and looked at the real challenges and issues around its product design. The sort of initiatives that we were looking into and the fabrics that we, we were producing or exploring really fit with this project. So it sort of seemed to make sense to you know, get in touch and invite them to visit and, and get more involved. Chimera offered to help us develop a new fabric made from waste materials using offcuts from their suppliers from the pre-consumer process as an experiment to see if it worked as an upholstery fabric and if we could re-upholster the sofa. It's exploring that concept of utilising this waste into new fabrics and, and getting the best potential out of them instead of them just being downcycled into lower grade products that, that currently happens. We can start to put in the, the recycled fibres and blend them with the virgin wool to produce these the yarns for the fabric for the survivor sofa. So the carding process is essentially preparing the fibres to be spun. So it goes through rollers that produce a continuous web of fibres. That gives us something we can then put onto the spool for the spinning. We've now got to the stage where we've used the pulled fibre material and, and blended it with virgin wool at our spinning facility and produced the yarn which we can then weave with and here you can see the finished fabric for the survivor sofa. These yarns have been woven in both warp and weft and they contain a 30% content of recycled fibre because the fibre is quite short at a 100% level was a bit unreachable but Blending that with some virgin wool enabled us to, to produce a yarn that, that we could actually use and, and weave with. Chimera has been really fantastic in the next chapter of the Survivor Sofa story. They have created a new wool blend for us, they've provided showroom space for us and they've been really enthusiastic. It will be really exciting to see uh, this fabric on the sofa. Obviously there's a lot of technical and logistical challenges to producing circular products like this and we, we hope that this project you know, will, will show that these innovations can be done and it will spark more around reutilising waste and getting more value from it. Our volume of landfill is shocking in this country and we really need to address that. We really want to encourage people to get creative with their bulky waste and I think this again is a, a demonstration of us really having a creative fun. One person's waste is another person's fabulous new sofa.